This is a Weiser Kia knob, extremely popular, long, long time ago it was everywhere. Nowadays we're seeing less and less of them, but it's still important to know how to rekey it. One of the key parts is identifying it. It basically, it could be a knob like that, you know, different colors. It could be an orbit, circular, you know, just different different styles of the rows and how the, how the lock comes out. Now, one way of identifying it was a lot of them have the push and turn lock. So on the inside to lock it, you just push and turn. And then when the key goes in here, you turn the key, it just turns a little bit. It just pops it out and then the lock is unlocked. Now one of the big problems with this lock is when this handle gets old, it just sort of stays in. So the customer is turning the key and the key, key turns but the lock won't come undone. That's another issue on how to get through that. But right now we're just going to show you how to rekey them. So to rekey the lock is quite simple. There's just two small screws on here. Take the knob off. Just loosen it a little bit, loosen the other one. I had, uh, you have to come in on an, on an angle to get it out. I've had somebody ask me once, do you have a screwdriver that will do this easier? And I'm going, no. This is the way it is, unfortunately. Now again, the brand name is Wiser. Uh, they never, um, we see a lot of Wiser locks now with which are actually quick set locks. Uh, this was never part of quick set. So, uh, it only says wiser, wiser locks. It takes the wiser key in a pinch. You shouldn't do it, but in a pinch, you can use a quick set key, but that's not proper. So basically the knob was just lock in. And what always happens is that little spring in there would just wear out. Now they used to sell a kit, you had extra springs, but you know, that was back in the day when you did a lot of repairs uh, and the people would replace the, the spring. So the lock is very simple. Take it out. Now, another way of identifying this, how to take it apart, is there's no holes anywhere, like to press the retainer in to remove this cylinder or the knob. In the back here, see how it's kind of springy? What we have to do to remove this, we have to hold this out. And then you see when it was locked, the key only turns that far to unlock the door. When we want to rekey it, we pull out the rear post and it basically the five o'clock, 10 to five position, and it just comes out. And you can see here, we can take our Bible to put it back together again. We have our Bible, we have the little slot there in the knob. So put it back at 10 to five, that's the time I call it, hold out the little post again, and you put it in at 10 to five and basically put it back in. Sometimes it can be sticky, but the biggest problem is just pull that out, turn it, boom. If you don't have a key, now it gets a little bit more difficult, but again, it's wiser, it's extremely easy to pick. Just pick it to that position. Just pick it over, just hold, pull the post out, pick it to the 10 to 5, 10 to 5 position, and sometimes you can push on this a little bit and it'll push out the cylinder. Now to rekey it is interesting. Now, if you don't have key, if you have a key, you can take it apart. But if you don't have a key, you have to shim it. And it's again, it's a wiser. It's easy to pick, easy to shim. So we got the cylinder. So to take out the plug, got the little circlip. And I love this is snap-on. It lasts me forever. And if it breaks, they give me a new one. Just, just gently, just open it up just that little bit. Insert your key. Turn it slightly. I have a, this is a HPC hollow follower. Just fits on there really nice. And it's five pins. And we've done enough rekeying videos. This one's lucky. It's got the, got the code on there. It's a direct code. We can just pin it up with the lab kit. And then when you put it back in, just make sure you put it on a slight, slight angle and just put the plug back into the cylinder. Take out the key. I'm doing this for the camera 
but it's best to put it on your desk flat. I got my little snap-on tool. Just again, you just don't don't go crazy on opening this, and just put it back on. Always test, test, test. So it's perfect. Clips on good. Now I put it in the ten to five position. Put my Bible into the little spot there, and give it a little twist to make sure that the little uh, post has engaged the back of the lock. Again, there's some different methods. This is the simplest. Pull out the post, hold it. Some people put a pair of pliers on the back, turn it. Now this one did come out extremely easy. Let me show you a tougher one here. So that one's really easy. Here's another one. This is a real old one got kicking around. Old one with a new insert. How's this one? See, this one's not coming out so easy. So again, I'll just push on the post a little bit. There we go. So basically, I'm just pushing on that, and it just pushes it out. So this one's a little bit more awkward and tougher. It goes in okay. Good. So, wiser key and knob with the push turn handle. Still see them out there. And you could also see different colors and a different knob style. But again, they, the secret is it's got the post on the back. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.